Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday received at Sakhir Palace senior officials participating at the 17th edition of the Manama Dialogue organized by the International Institute for Strategic Studies, the IISS, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. At the beginning of the meeting, His Majesty the King welcomed Bahrain's guests and their participation in the IISS Manama Dialogue. Thank you. 
Then His Majesty the King delivered the following speech. Ladies and gentlemen, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Salam alaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is my great pleasure to warmly welcome so many distinguished participants to the 17th WIWS Manama Dialogue. I hope that your time in the Kingdom of Bahrain will be both enjoyable and constructive. Over the past two years, our world has passed through the worst health crisis in modern history which has challenged every single country, regardless of size, wealth, or resources. Yet, we in the Kingdom of Bahrain are proud that we have been able to overcome even the most difficult periods of the pandemic. Thanks to the work of our National Medical Task Force, led by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, this comprehensive and multi-agency response has been highly successful in combating all aspects of the pandemic. We have been pleased to receive international praise and recognition for our response, but this serves simply to reinforce our wish to share our experience with others. In return, we welcome the chance to exchange expertise and experience with friends across the world. As you will all recognize, the Middle East is a region of critical importance for the entire world, but a region whose security and stability remain subject to many challenges. We in Bahrain, are convinced that security and stability leading to peace is best built on preserving the best aspects of what defines us and maintaining rights as the foundation of progress and development and for trade. At the same time, it is essential regional maritime security is safeguarded against any hostile act and to protect freedom of navigation and the commercial sea routes which serve the entire world economy. In the Kingdom of Bahrain, we have always been and remain committed to peace, dialogue, coexistence, as underlined most recently by the Abraham Accords. These historic agreements reaffirm our principled and courageous approach to achieving peace as the ultimate prize for our region and all its people. In the Arabian Gulf, the GCC remains a cornerstone of stability and its unity is a source of strength and good for all stakeholders both in the region and beyond. To maintain this unity, Bahrain is committed to open channels of communication, to address any outstanding issues as an example of how such matters can be resolved between brotherly and friendly states. Against this background, the Kingdom of Bahrain greatly appreciates the role of the IISS Manama Dialogue as the principal regional forum for the exchange of views and insights to protect and enhance regional security. We highly value the outstanding efforts of the IISS in organizing the dialogue and appreciate the attendance of so many distinguished participants. So welcome once again to the Kingdom of Bahrain. We wish all of you every success in the 2021 Manama 
dialogue and offer our best wishes to you for 2022. Thank you. After that, His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet for the senior officials participating in the IIS S Manama Dialogue, where His Majesty exchanged views with the guests on the importance of the forum and the most pressing issues discussed in its sessions that reflect the importance of joint dialogue as the most successful means of maintaining security and stability in the region. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a book titled Afghan File by the Chairman of the King Faisal Center for Research and Islamic Studies, His Royal Highness Turkil Faisal. This came as His Majesty the King received yesterday senior participants taking part in the 2021 Manama Dialogue Conference. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness Prince Turkil Faisal for the book, wishing him continued success. The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Pakistani Army 5th Corps Commander Lieutenant General Mohammed Saeed. The meeting discussed topics of common interest. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa praised the bilateral relations, resulting in exchanging expertise and raising the capabilities of the two military sides. The Pakistani commander expressed his country's keenness in developing cooperation and bilateral relations. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the National Security Advisor of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Sir Stephen Lovegrove, on the sidelines of the 2021 Manama Dialogue. They reviewed bilateral relations binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, stressing steadily growing ties across all levels. Zahana Sheikh Nasser stressed mutual keenness on furthering bilateral relations towards achieving common goals and interests, lauding the UK led regional and international role and constructive contributions to bolstering global security, stability and peace. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General Azhani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Singaporean Minister of State for Defense Zaki Mohammed on the sidelines of the 17th Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Highness noted that the Bahraini Singaporean relations are constantly witnessing developments in many fields of cooperation and coordination to serve the common goals and interests of the two friendly countries and people. A number of topics of common interest were discussed.
The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General Hazani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Secretary General for National Defense and Security of France, Stéphane Bellou, on the sidelines of the 2021 Manama Dialogue. Hazani Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Secretary General for National Defense and Security of France and reviewed with him the solid cooperation and friendship relations between Bahrain and France, as well as the means to further strengthen bilateral ties at all levels, especially regarding the exchange of expertise and joint military coordination. National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander Major General Azhani Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Indian Chief of Integrated Defense Staff and Chairman of the Chiefs of Staff Committee, Air Marshal Balbadari Radha Krishna, on the sidelines of the 2021 Manama Dialogue. Azhani Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Air Marshal, praising the distinguished friendly relations between Bahrain and India, which are progressing steadily across various fields. The two sides reviewed ways of enhancing cooperation and coordination between the two friendly countries at all levels. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the victory of the French team Paris FC against Cannes Team 1 0 enhances the team's ambitions to achieve the desired goals in the French League 2 competitions. Zahana Sheikh Nasser stated that the team's presence in the competition affirms its high potential and the players' keenness on making further efforts to achieve the goals, adding that the French League 2 is witnessing strong competition between teams. His Highness noted that that Paris FC is moving steadily towards achieving further positive results in the league and that this victory gave the players a high morale boost before the next match against Bastion next Friday. His Highness wished the team success. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, met with the Secretary General of the Islamic Military Counterterrorism Coalition, the IMCTC, Major General Pilot Mohammed bin Saeed Al Maghidi, on the sidelines of the 17th Manama Dialogue. The meeting highlighted the efforts of the IMCTC in coordinating joint action among all countries in order to confront terrorism and dry up its sources of funding and to combat the deviant terrorist ideology through the intellectual, media, military, and financing fields. The meeting also discussed means to enhance bilateral cooperation in countering terrorism and the international efforts exerted to combat it in order to achieve security and stability for all the people of the world. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the acting head of the Kuwaiti National Security Apparatus, NSC, Sheikh Sabah Shemlan al Sabah. The meeting highlighted the historical and broadly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait, noting the exceptional development and growth it has witnessed in various fields to serve the common interests of the two broadly countries and its people. It also discussed regional and international security developments and challenges and issues of mutual concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs of Jordan Ayman Al Safadi. The two ministers reviewed the strong broadly relations between the two countries, discussing means of further developing bilateral cooperation in various fields for the benefit of both countries and people. They also discussed a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs of Yemen, Dr. Ahmed Awad bin Mbarak. The two sides discussed bilateral cooperation and coordination, viewing ways to enhance ties in various fields. They also discussed the latest developments in political and security situation in Yemen and the efforts being made as part of the United Nations efforts to reach a political solution to bring peace in Yemen in accordance with internationally approved resolutions. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Prime Minister of the Kurdistani region of Iraq, Masroor Barzani. The two sides reviewed the fraternal ties between Bahrain and Iraq, valuing the efforts exerted to further develop cooperation between the two countries. They also discussed the security challenges facing the countries of the region, which require continued cooperation and joint coordination in order to achieve development and prosperity. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met the Coordinator for Middle East and African Affairs at the National Security Council of the United States of America, Brett McGurk. The two sides reviewed the close historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S., discussing ways to further enhance bilateral cooperation in all fields in the benefit of both countries. They also reviewed the political and security developments in the region, the challenges that threaten its security and stability, and the efforts made to consolidate security, peace and development. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the National Security Advisor of Israel, Dr. Iyal Ahulata, and his accompanying delegation. The meeting discussed the course of bilateral relations between the two countries and means to develop cooperation and joint coordination to achieve common interests within the framework of the principles of the Declaration Supporting Peace and Abraham Accords. The meeting also shed light on the developments in the political and security situation in the region and the challenges facing its countries, as well as the efforts being made to achieving lasting security, stability and peace in the region to serve the aspirations and hopes of its people towards further development and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Ambassador of the European Union to Bahrain residing in Riyadh, Ambassador Patrick Simonet. The meeting highlighted the close friendship and cooperation relations between Bahrain and the European Union and the growing its witnessing at various levels, as well as means to enhance joint cooperation to serve common interests. It also discussed a number of issues of mutual concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with a group of British MPs. The meeting discussed the strong historical relations between Bahrain and the UK and the development these relations are witnessing at all levels in light of mutual concern to support and strengthen bilateral relations and joint coordination to achieve their common interests. They also discussed means to enhance the role of parliamentary diplomacy in consolidating friendship and joint cooperation, coordinating positions towards regional and international issues, and supporting efforts to establish security peace and stability in the Middle East. The Foreign Affairs Minister also met with the American Jewish Committee Chief Policy and Political Affairs Officer Jason al -Aisaskan. They discussed aspects of developing cooperation and coordination in all areas related to strengthening the foundations of peace and stability, spreading a culture of tolerance and peaceful coexistence, in addition to exchanging views on the latest developments in the political situation in the region. These sessions of the Manama Dialogue Conference continued for the third day in a row, where the first session of the last day was held under the theme Safety Dynamics in the Red Sea and the Mediterranean, with the participation of senior specialist speakers from around the world. The Greek Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Yemeni Minister of Foreign Affairs, and the European Special Representative for the Horn of Africa. The closing session focused on regional challenges, Iran and its nuclear program, and militia threats to maritime navigation in the presence of the Israeli National Security Advisor and Coordinator for Middle East and African Affairs at the National Security Council of the United States. The President of the Asian Football Confederation, the AFC, and first Vice President of FIFA, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, chaired the eighth meeting of the Executive Office of the AFC, which was hosted by Bahrain for the second time in the presence of members of the Executive Office of FIFA and senior officials in the Executive Management of the Continental Confederation. Sheikh Salman welcomed the members of the Executive Office, stating that the meeting is a favorable opportunity to affirm AFC's keenness on developing the Asian football system. He noted that the fruitful efforts made by the executive members in terms of a constructive interaction with the recommendations of the committee and the proposals of the member national federations which enhances the unity and solidarity of the Asian football family. The members of the AFC executive office expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim for his efforts in leading the Asian football march to safely during the coronavirus pandemic, praising Bahrain's keenness to create the ideal conditions for hosting the officers' meeting. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemned the storming of the U.S. Embassy by the terrorist militia in Sana'a in Yemen. The foreign ministry denounced the terrorist attack, during which the Houthis detained a number of local employees while its property was vandalized in an unacceptable act that is a clear violation of the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, the Norms and Covenants, and an attack on the security and safety of the embassy and its staff. The ministry called for the safe release of detained employees and the withdrawal from the embassy's building immediately.